what is being done about exactly. it. Exactly, that's know? the question. You know? Because you see, we're experiencing <clears throat> climatic changes. So whether we like it or not, yes. at a point when you expect the rays to come, you'll be surprised that we'll be expect we'll be you know experiencing the reverse of it. Mm. So how are we supporting yeah. the sector? Yeah. You know, the, I can't have uh, a proverb. Um, I I don't. I'm not too sure if I can say the way they say it, mm. but I want to say it in Ga, mm. maybe in English. <clears throat> Sorry, <laughs> 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 If you if you use your mouth to weed, eh, if you use your mouth to weed to clear the weed, eh. you will not be pricked by any thorns. How? And that's what yeah that that's an added. That's why I said it's an Akan proverb that once you use your mouth to clear the weeds, yes, you will they not will be not pricked prick by you. a thorn. Because the no, weeds, but literally. So, so the weeds are there. Thinking about it. So Bella, the weeds they are there. They will break you. They are the front frontage of TV3. Uh -huh. You have seen the weeds; they are overgrown, and you use your mouth to start weeding. Because literally, I mean, you are talking over the weeds. You are not weeding. You are paying lip service okay. to weeding. And she said, "Who decide? They say, who the one no? Yes. And the bedroom because one person a year in Kasena and I say in Swaya no. And be what they are. And you be full, 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 cooking the So, yeah. so that is what we have been doing with. Uh, improvement of the agri sector. Mm, yeah. I tell you what, the Ghana Statistical Service, seven. Professor Nib's team, did uh, a, an agri census, mm. and they told us that about 80% of the people who are farm holders in this country are gone past 60. Mm. Majority of them as well, over 50 or so of them, 50% or so of them, are not even educated to understand new technologies to even apply them. Mm. So this is a real problem, yeah. that the people who hold farms who are providing food for you are gone past the age of 60. It means they are frail and weak. Mm -hmm. Now, the second portion is that they don't even understand the new technologies that are coming because they are not lettered to even want to apply it. Mm -hmm. So all this talk about irrigation, expansion, all of those ones, it comes to play. Do you know that we visited some vis villages mm -hmm. And the concept of, uh, they call it in Nobua. So we all pool our resources. I have my farm, farming season this year. I want to plant maize. Mm. I call Cookie, I call you, I call Harriet, I call Coco, I call Daniel, I call. And then you all come and support me to weed my farm. Yeah. We till the dirt, we plant. And then we go to another farm, we go and help you. Too. So it's like communal thing. Mm. Yeah. When it's time for harvest, we do that same process. Mm, it's true. And then because it's my farm, I give you I something, give you I give you something yeah. for supporting yeah. me. Yeah. Now the farmers seldom do that. They just buy weed sites and they spray everything. Mm. What you do is that you are killing the natural habitat for all the snails, all the termites, all the millipedes, centipedes and everything. Yeah, more, more, no. And that is why at this point, you will find, for example, you go to a shop bar, buy one snail and it's 35 cities. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't make sense. I mean, when the weather becomes cold like that, it rains. You go into the forest you and you pick, pick the snails. Yeah, yeah. You just pick them. Now we are farming them. We are killing everything. Now the, the, an association is telling us to minimize our use of fertilizers because it will have an effect mm -hmm. on us. Mm -hmm. We know what to do, but yet they are not do run. In That's true. Yeah, they are not and do run. That's, that's very true. So I don't know what's going to happen in the next few months, but. I am really worried. I mean, checking how much prices have gone high on the market. Mm. I was shocked to know that even a ball mm. of kinky now, two CDs. Mm -hmm. And it's reduced in size. Yeah, size. Mm. So it's it the size means of. that now <laughs> if you had five CDs and you could eat, how do you say, uh, uh, exactly. Mm. Now you won't be able to do that anymore. So where are we going as a country? And mm. Bella, it's bringing me to my point of the...
4 to 7% increment that um, the teacher unions have rejected. Right. Because at the end of the day, what? Salaries haven't changed in the last four, six years. Yeah. It hasn't at all. About three or four years. Three or yeah. four years. It hasn't. Thank you for the correction. It <clears throat> hasn't at all. And you're expecting that it will change mm. and hopefully change to maybe some 30% <clears throat> or some 40%. And then what? It's what? Four to 7%. For the and already yeah. I know. And, oh, and, and you see, the, the, the sad <laughs> thing is I was listening to the leader of the trade union congress because he went into that meeting right. with the monuments committee and he said that well we were not happy with that increment we sat in that meeting negotiating for so long but then there were other things that government proffered oh. uh, which is why we decided to sign to on to it. it one of yeah. them was that they would not lay off any public sector right. worker right. during the COVID period mm -hmm. and you know a number of other things but i was just listening and i was thinking that but that's still not enough yeah. because <clears throat> if you're saying that because they've promised that they will not lay off any public sector worker so we will agree to a 4% increase. When this same emoluments committee also recommended close to 100% increment in salaries for um, you know, for the mm. president, mm. for the, the MPs, ministers, the, the MPs, ministers. and all of that. <clears throat> then there's a disparity. Sometime in January, I remember that the president had mentioned that they were going to freeze an increment in salaries for yeah. ministers. Yes, yes. yes. So yes. I because of, of the executive. COVID. Yeah, because exactly. of COVID. Exactly, yeah. because of COVID. Yeah. Yeah. And so if a few months down the line, and we're now even in our third wave, so we're mm. really not out of the woods yeah. yet, why are we considering increasing salaries for the Ministers, executive, yeah. you know, maybe then we should still hold on to that increment because in other countries, they have slashed their salaries for, because for of COVID. Yeah. And we don't have money for the vaccines. We don't have money to even figure out how to go about the third wave. And we're thinking of salary increments for executive. And then when it comes to the public sector workers, we're saying that all they deserve is 4%. Four, no. It's honestly quite unfair. <clears throat> and, and the unfair question may perhaps may be answered when you go to buy LPG. Because it does appear that every now and then when you get there to buy LPG, now, so. it's gone up. Yeah. And I don't, I don't know how it happens. I know that some 18 pesos was slapped onto every kilogram. Two, three mm -hmm. months ago. Yes, yeah. but then when you get there and the prices keep changing, you're asking yourself, is it the same LPG that I know? Because okay. once that's happening, you're talking about the price of king cake. Yeah. Somebody will talk about a bowl of cocoa and tea, and I will talk about a bowl of cocoa. Yeah. And, and it affects nearly everything. See, people cannot feed. Yeah. That is the basic point. People cannot feed. Yesterday, I read something on Facebook. Where somebody said, we went to Malamata with 200 Ghana CDs. Mm. Brought a bucket of tomatoes, one or two things. She thought she had been shortchanged. And then only for her to do the calculation and realize that pepe, pepe. that is what it is. Yeah. The cost of living is not, is not child's play now. The cost of living, the cost of food, and the basics should be food, clothing, and shelter. At least that's what we know. So we have accommodation challenges. Mm -hmm. Maybe people have clothes to wear. But if people can't find what to eat now, it's a big, big, big problem. You see how hurriedly we started this whole Galamse fight? We told you it's a renewed Galamse fight. Do you hear anybody in government talking about no. a renewed Galamse no. fight? Everybody has kept quiet because no. I told you from the beginning that it does appear that that's being thrown to us so that we can start talking about it. Mm. Has the colors of the rivers changed? Right. Still the same. Has it changed? Still the same. Anyway, so this this we, is the question. We, I, we need to I be believe, honest yeah, with ourselves. Yeah. Mm. Pose it to your your panelists when they come for newspaper review. Let's hear what they have to say about this very one. What the salary increment? No, the Galamse question. Why well, we are not hearing <laughs> anything anymore? Anyway, uh, this I, is still TV Three New Day. I Sorry want, for cutting you, Johnny. I want an update on it. Okay. All right. Good morning, morning to again, the yeah. Minister of Land and Natural Resources. <laughs> no. Won't you, won't you uh, say good morning? morning. No good morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the sun is not out. So I'm a child of God. I've changed. <laughs> we'll be right back. They are doing very well. That's what